Hello, the audience. Owl time. Hey, over here. Hoo hoo. Not a zero. Good to see you again. Listen to this. Hoot hoot. I'm gonna shit out. Ah. <clears throat> After all, uh, after going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too. Uh, no. No, I, I, I pressed down. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I need to use the joystick. Shut up. Uh, if you are courageous, foreshadowing, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sound coming from the forest. And he's gone. Okay. Alright, so that's where we were. We want to go back to the entrance, which I'm going to just do semi-properly. Okay. So, this is where we got the uh, upgraded bag for the, um, for the, whatchamacallit, the slingshot. But if we go over here, we can do something else. Yeah. Follow along with our song on your ocarina, and we'll lend you, uh, uh, we'll lead you into it. <clears throat> this is gonna require a lot of focus. Up, down. Yeah, that was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. I got a rupee. <laughs> yes. Go along with our song on your ocarina, and we'll lead you lead you into it. <clears throat> I thought these songs were randomized, but I'm pretty sure I've played all these before. So, um. Yeah, they're apparently not randomized. <laughs> a left, a down. A left, a down, right. <laughs> a left, a down, right. I can't be the only one that does this. A left, left, yep. Okay, a left, a down, right, up. A left, A down, right, up. Okay. <laughs> that was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Five rupees. Hooray. Yes. There's a reason we're doing this. You'll see. Follow along with our song with your ocarina. We'll lead you into it. I forgot to start a timer. Right, down, left. Uh, right, down, left. Nice, okay. Right, down, left, up. <laughs> right, down, left, up. Okay. Just rotate on that one. This is how I remembered this. I remember that. Where, right down, I just rotate real quick and then remember the rest. Right, down, left, up. Left. Oh god, okay, thank god. Right, down, left, up, left, down. Okay, so let's just rotate there, rotate back. Whoo! Right, down, left, up, left, down, A. Right, down, left, up, left, down, A. Oh, yeah! Oh, fuck. Left, up, left, down, A, right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I think this is it, because we reached the end of the measure. Right, down, left, up, down, right, down, A. That was... I did not say the thing we needed to do. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Fuck yeah! Piece of heart. Alright, sweet. We're out of here. <laughs> um... Right, we have to uh, go to the Sacred Meadow now. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, Sacred Meadow is this way. <laughs> I know my I know my way around this forest uh, amazingly. I've been here one too many times. <laughs> hmm, except for the fact that these this is a branching path. I'm pretty sure this is an optional area. Yep. Let's get Deku merchants and shit. We should actually talk to one because we haven't yet. I surrender. In return, I will sell you Deku nuts. Five pieces for 20 rupees. Uh, yeah, sure. Fuck it. I use Deku nuts enough. Ow. Okay. There is also, I think a gold is called Tella somewhere around here. Might be too high up. Also, there's a, um, there's like a hole somewhere hidden in this grass that you can like fall into. Or is that a different area? I think it's a different area. Alright, well, whatever. We'll come back to that because we don't have what we need to do that yet. I don't remember what exactly we do need to do that, but I'll look it up. Um, <clears throat> we just came from this way. Okay, go straight ahead. Shut up, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, so this is the final area. So now you have to... Uh, if you notice the... Um, now there's white there, that means it's a load zone. There's black there, which means it's not a load zone. However, this is the final area, so you actually have to listen to the music. So no music there, no music there, and very loud music. Sacred Meadow is this way. Okay. Uh, Wolfos, uh, draw it close uh, to you and watch its movement carefully. Attack it when it drops its guard. Like that. Ah. There you go. Alright, now watch this shit. Oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, alright. Yeah, a lot of people have problems with the enemies in this game because most of them do that sort of thing where you have to wait and do something with them. Even Deku, you know, Deku scrubs do that because you have to reflect their attacks or just run up and stab them I guess I kind of feel bad for doing that because they you they're like sentient beings they're like main characters and shit in uh, Majora's Mask so I kind of feel bad slaughtering them but I don't know how they started it, I guess <laughs> yeah me feeling bad about killing Deku scrubs kind of killed the uh, my hype for uh, Undertale because, you know, <laughs> they, uh, people are like, oh, it makes you feel bad for killing. It's like, I kind of already did that. So my bottle's empty. I could, uh, I suppose we'll go up here right now. Okay, so if you climb up this ladder, you're on top of the thing. Uh, and there are some stuff, over, there's some stuff over here. Uh, which I could show off playing, uh, yeah, if you play songs to these things, they give you, they, they give you a fairy. Which I know I already mentioned, but might as well mention it again. Um, but I'm more interested in what's down here. This is a regular fairy fountain. Uh, not a great fairy fountain. So, yeah, no... Uh... Nobody heard me say that. Uh... Because <laughs> we haven't actually been to one of those yet. So this is a fairy fountain. Um... <laughs> there are fairies here. Uh, which is one of the only two things you ever want to spend your bottles on, really. Apart from if you need to empty them for quests, but, you know. Um, yeah. So, fairies are useful. Revive you when you die, heal such many hearts. Um, yeah, which I already mentioned. So, whew, moving on. <laughs> I hope I already mentioned that. I hope I didn't just imagine me mentioning that. There we go. Ah! Ooh, okay. <laughs> this this place is very interesting later in the game. We'll come back to it. <laughs> Ow. Hey look, it's Saria playing the music for the for the place. I'm trying to learn this on piano. It's kinda difficult. 
I've been waiting for you, not a zero. This is the sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Yes, or don't do it. <laughs> I love the refusal options in this one, because they're very... I don't know, backhanded? <laughs> okay, try to follow along with the melody I play. Are you ready? <laughs> so now we got the uh, foresty metal that Darunia needed. So now we can go back and talk to him. Great, great. Please don't forget this song, do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song, and you can talk with me anytime. Yeah. So, at any time you can play Saria's song and either talk with Saria or Navi if you uh, needed to talk to Navi. So, you've learned Saria's song. Saria usually doesn't have much to say, as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah. We'll definitely come back here. Uh, and just so you don't feel like you're going insane, yes, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that there's a massive stone slab here. We'll come back to that. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I probably definitely could have done the fairy fountain thing on my way out, because I was going to climb this ladder anyway. So, yeah. Whoops, messed up the pacing slightly. Whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, now we can just enter the Lost Woods and go straight to um, Goron Village, which, or Goron City, rather, um, which is nice for me because every time you boot up the game, you start back in Kakariko Village, or Kakariko, Jesus Christ, uh, Kokiri Forest, that one. Hoot hoot, did you learn the Ocarina song uh, from Zarya? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that uh, you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with C where melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. Uh, it also, I also suggest you play even when a uh, score is not displayed. Just like this. Hoot 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 Uh, no I do not. Uh, melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. I will, good sir. Uh, I already have. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, we're going this way. Alright, I'm going to make my way back to Goron City, so cut. Okay, we are back in Goron City, so now we just got to hop down and play the song for Darunia, and we should be good. Woo. Also, in case you were wondering, um, in Breath of the Wild, the divine beast Varudanya is named after Darunia. So, there you go. Fun fact for you there. Whoopsies. No! There it is. My mic plugged in. <laughs> I'll stop humming. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, all right, <laughs> hot, indeed, what a hot beat, I, it's more of a green, cool beat, yeah, yeah, wahoo, or yahoo, rather, copyrighted, uh, <laughs> wow, what a nice tune, uh, just like that, my depression is all gone, uh, something just came over me, I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. Uh, I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Uh, was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of the fi uh, fire, too. The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. Uh, if you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? Uh, that way, everybody will know. Uh, every, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not. Uh, I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. Uh, if you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. 
You got the Goron's bracelet. Uh, you can pull up bomb flowers, stand next to one. Yeah, yeah. So that actually appears on Link now, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm going to go show that off, and I completely forgot to do the other thing in the Lost Woods. So we're backtracking a lot in this episode, and I tried my best not to do that, but we're doing it anyway. So, uh, yeah, hold on. I'm going to get to the bomb flower, and then we'll cut. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Pretty self-explanatory. It explodes after some time. Yep, there you go. Alright, be right back. Ah, here we are. Alright, we're back at this kid. The kid that we can kill for 200 rupees. Alright. There we go. <laughs> You know, sorry, a song. We should be friends here. Uh, we should be friends. Here, take this. Hooray! So that Skull Kid is actually the same Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. And, um... Uh, actually, no. Sorry. Not Majora's Mask. Twilight Princess. It's the same Skull Kid from Twilight Princess. The Skull, the skull Kid from uh, Majora's Mask, I believe, um, is from Termina. So, not from here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so... Well, actually, no. Because he was in, um... You know, that's a good question. I don't know about the Skull Kid from Termina, or if he even is from Termina. Uh, he's... Whether he's that one or not, I don't know if anyone knows, so let's not worry about that. Uh, one more thing to do in Goron City, and then we'll do the Dongo's Cavern. I keep forgetting that there's things in other places. That's it for the Lost Woods, I promise. Okay, this is the last thing we want to do in Goron City before we leave. There's this that we have to blow up here. Ow. Yeah, and then uh, there's another wall behind it, so we gotta grab another bomb flower. <laughs> and behind that, um, you guessed it, another wall. I think there's one more after this. Yep, okay. Oh, it's worth it, you'll see. <laughs> it's one of my favorite areas in the game, honestly. It's a giant Goron. We can talk to him. I'm working on something real cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait like five or six years, it should be ready, okay? So yeah, uh... <laughs> there you go. He's working on something that'll take about five or six years. So, you know. We'll come back to that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> there's, that area, I think, exists pretty much just as a joke. Um, yeah, but it is still one of my favorite areas in the game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so now we're good to, uh, go to the Dodongo's Cavern, which we completely, um, I completely, like, sort of sidestepped, because I didn't want to talk about it now. Anyway, we also got, uh, four heart pieces, so we have an extra heart. So we got, we got five hearts now instead of four, which is very useful. Uh, Okay. Oh, okay, um, I'm gonna, I can definitely see it from up here, so I'm just gonna go to a good vantage point. Right, over here we've got this Goron, and a sign, but if we go over here, we can look down at Dodongo's Cavern. There's a giant boulder in the way, blocking the cavern, and there's a heart piece over there. We will get back to that. Uh, <laughs> there's only one way I know how to get it, and it's really difficult. Um, oh, motherfucker. Tell you what, actually, that fence is really, like, low to the ground. Can I climb it? No, I can't. There we go, that should hit it. Or blow up a sign. Or both. Nice. Okay. Time to use that, uh... That Deku thing that we learned a while ago, where we roll as we hit the ground. Yeah, it worked! Wow, that's a lot of hearts. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, the the drop system kind of prioritizes items that you need, so if you are low on hearts, it will give you uh, hearts. Okay. We are into Dongo's Cavern. So this is the second dungeon. Um, I don't know how far we're going to get because we're halfway through the episode, but uh, we'll see. I, um, I'm going to switch to my Hylian shield because the... 
There are a couple enemies that we can fight that will destroy the, um, the Deku Shield, so let's not worry about that right now. Um, and then, somewhere around here, uh, there's a Deku Merchant. Uh, again, they're like rats, they're everywhere. Uh, <laughs> looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Yeah, so, lava, don't step in the lava, you will die. Uh, well, I mean, you won't die, but you will slowly take damage over time. Um, very slowly, mind you. You can pretty much run across lava with relative ease most of the time. Uh, oh god. Yeah, nice. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of work my way around this place. Okay, I'm just going to let that happen. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of work my way around it. Uh, basically, there are walls you can bomb and doors that you can't open because they're locked, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I don't exactly remember what's in each place, but I just kind of go through the motions every time I'm here, so. I got the thing. That's a Game Grumps reference. I've been watching so much Game Grumps, it's so good. <laughs> Today's episode was especially good, because they had the Beware of Dog thing. I don't know if anyone will ever know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so that Deku Merchant, he'll sell you a, uh, a Deku Shield, I believe. Uh, for, I think, 40 rupees, because it's the same as it is in uh, Kokiri Forest, so... <clears throat> anyway, yeah, the the map is optional in this one. It's optional, I think, in all of them. It's just that you don't tend to stumble into it. Or you tend to stumble into it more often than not, and why would you not open a big chest that give you a really helpful item? Um, okay, I think. Oh, yeah, also, these guys um, shoot lasers and track you with their eyes. Uh, not great enemies to fight, so I you can just blow them up like that. There we go. Uh, if I may gripe about Twilight Princess real quick. In Twilight Princess... Alright, something cool that they do in Twilight Princess that I like is that there are bomb flowers and you can pick them up and then you can just carry bombs with you. And that's really nice. That's like a nice quality of life thing. Oh yeah, these are mini Dodongos. Um, or baby Dodongos. They explode. Hold on. Yeah, baby Dodongo. Watch out for its leaping attack. It will explode after it's defeated. So we gotta get the fuck away from that thing. Okay, um, yeah. And then I want to actually keep one of them alive to be brought over here. There we go. Because there are no bomb flowers in this room, so that explodes. Anyway, but the thing I don't like about Twilight Princess is that, um... Uh, what don't I like? I forget. Uh, oh yeah, more keys. Uh, right, that the bomb flowers stay with their, like, you know, they're unshucked. Why wouldn't you shuck your bomb flowers? Shuck your bomb flowers, everyone. If don't, don't un, whatever. <laughs> okay, we officially have ten. We can go back to the house of Skulltella now. Uh, let's not, because we're like we're deep in a dungeon which has explosions and fire and shit. So that seems like a not good place to just kind of leave behind. Oh right, these enemies. These enemies are fucking freaky. Uh, so right, this guy. No. Okay, uh, apparently not. These are just statues right now, then. Uh, <laughs> uh, forget I said anything about enemies. There we go. I'm hopping up. Ow. Uh, where are we now? I forget. Oh, I think I know where we are. Yeah. Wait, why didn't I... There we go. I've, I've got a shitload of ammo for it. Why not? Uh, but yeah, when you're... So it'll probably, next time I come across gr grass, probably give me uh, some more Deku seeds. Okay, so these are Lizalfos. Um, yeah, Lizalfos, use your shield well and fight with Z-targeting techniques. So this is where the Hylian shield becomes most useful, because they attack from uh, above you. And then once they're at half health, they start running away. And there are two in this room right now, I think. Nope, just one. Okay. You usually fight them two at a time. Oh, nope, there, there, there it is. Okay. Ah. There we go. Yeah, okay, so now that, that one's at half health, it should run away, and then this one should stay here. Oh, fuck. Nice, okay. But yeah, uh, a lot of enemies are a lot taller than you because you're a kid, so this Hylian shield is very useful. Uh, didn't drop anything, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, get dunked on. Lizard fuck. Fucking Obama. <laughs> uh, I made the Obama as a lizard joke. Aren't I the most original person in the world? Uh, I didn't get any hearts out of that, and I'm not going to go over and break those pots out of fear of... There are more Deku merchants behind this place. Deku merchants are everywhere. Um, right, okay. So these are Dodongos. Uh, watch out for its fiery breath. Use Z-targeting techniques. So... Yeah, they breathe fire. Uh, the Hylian Shield is fireproof, but, uh, only from the top right now, because obviousness. What was I doing? Oh, right, Deku Sticks. Uh, in order to get through this room, you have to light a bunch of torches that will come across, but, uh, I need fire first. Uh, I suppose you could use the, uh, Dodongos to light the fire if you really wanted to, but they go out after a short period of time, so I would not recommend that. That seems like it would take too long. And there we go. I'm not going to lose a single Decker stick. Ignore the the two times where I lost a Decker stick in the past. Ah, there we go. Open that door. So now we got to go to the other side of the dungeon. Hooray! Uh, yeah, it did just occur to me that that was just time killing and that whole half of the dungeon didn't need to exist. Apart from showing off new features and stuff. So this is what this guy does. Um, I forget what he's actually called. Navi, tell me. Uh, Beamos, watch out for its, uh, searching beam. I bet it doesn't like smoke to get in its eyes. Right, yeah. So blow it out with bombs. For whatever reason in Zelda games, they use smoke as, like, a wink-wink, nudge-nudge, use a bomb kind of word. Which doesn't make too much sense. I mean, it didn't make too much sense in Zelda 1 because it was a mistranslation, but I think they're just doing it now because they're fucking with us. Uh, <laughs> just for older Zelda fans, they're like, eh, smoke, see? Um... Plus, it's the only thing in the game that uses gunpowder, so... Yeah, sorry to, uh... Sorry to disappoint. The, uh, the theory that there's an AR-15 in this game is, uh, debunked. <laughs> that was a legit theory. People thought there was, like, an actual assault rifle. Um, which I would've loved. That would've been cool. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you have to blow up all those bomb flowers at the same time, which requires you to use that bomb flower there. However... We're actually going to go in here for my least favorite room in the dungeon, if not the entire game. Water temple aside. We'll get to the water temple, it's fine. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of the water temple. Everyone's heard of the water temple. Everyone loves the water temple. I'm kidding, everyone hates the water temple. It's just slow. It's pretty straightforward. It's just really slow. Okay, so I'm just going to take care of this guy, like, right away. Fuck, fuck, okay. Uh, Navi? Armos! What is with these Os enemies? Stop its movement and then destroy it. Okay. So, I forget how to stop its movement. Yeah! There we go. And then we can chuck a bomb at it. Yeah! And then it spins. And then it explodes. I think Armos are from a different game. I think A Link to the Past. Um, but they're really cool in this one. I like them. They work really well in 3D, so that's nice. I mean, the other games were top-down, and Link doesn't really jump, so it sort of like we're behind Link, and that's about the only difference between, you know, a 2D Zelda and a 3D Zelda, but whatever. Uh, you throw bombs instead of just kind of placing them on top of you, which is nice. Ay ay ay! <laughs> takes too long. I need to switch back to uh, Slingshot. Whee. There we go. Okay. We got another five minutes. We got time. That's half of an old Game Rooms episode. <laughs> oh, I don't think I ever... No, I did. I, I think I did, yeah. I mentioned it out on the TARDIS episode. I never uploaded. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, a YouTuber I really liked, uh, Maryland, he stopped uploading. Um, or so he says, I don't know, it's it's not unlike YouTubers to say, I'm leaving YouTube, and then a week later they come back and they're like, alright, I kind of missed this. Um, oh, so those were fire keys. Uh, they're just keys that are on fire. There's no much, there's not much more to explain. However, if they hit you while you have your Deku shield out, they will destroy it, and you won't have a shield anymore. So that means you have to leave the dungeon and go buy one, which you're not inclined to do, so you're just walking through the dungeon without a shield. Um... 
Yep. Okay. Famous. Uh, I can do the shit with my eyes closed section. The the whole purpose of this section is that there are fire keys, right? So you're more focused on them trying to protect your shield rather than walking across the bridge. So that's that's more the reason this place exists. It's not supposed to be precarious. It's supposed to be, you know. Oh no, fire keys. Unless I'm completely wrong, and I don't know. Whatever. I said I was gonna shit on fucking uh, sequelitis. So. Also, this is another famous part of Sequelitis, where he says, Oops! Uh, I'm <laughs> that was my attempt at an impression. He said it stupidly as well. Um, but he already said, like, on a Game Rumps episode, that he uh, he kind of regretted that section because of object permanence, and it's just the nature of how you make a 3D game. So, I'll, I'll let it slide. He already said it was kind of a stupid point anyway, so... I'm not going to criticize him for something he already knew went wrong, so... Not that he's watching this and is taking notes, and he's like, Oh yes, thank you, person with 30 subscribers and is 17. Tell me how to do my job. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty sure this is rupees. Yep. Okay, bomb flower. This bitch is annoying. Yeah, it bounces off like that. I found it best if you either time it, and it explodes just right, or... Um, catch it between the wall and the ladder like this. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to try and do both. I'm going to try and catch it between the wall and the ladder and time it just right. Okay, here we go. Not even close. <laughs> to timing it just right or the wall and the ladder. Okay, here we go. i got to be super close to it. Yeah, I did both. Well, I did one of them. Shut up. Our heart's behind here. There we go. Little short hop. Ah, yes, this. Glad I have ammo. I've been using a lot of my slingshot. Good God! Apparently, I did need those extra bags. Oh, fuck off! Oh, fuck off! I'm not gonna worry about them right now. I'm just gonna kind of run past them. Oh, good, more Lizalfos. Uh. Already at half health, eh? Ah. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Get dunked on. Oh, what the fuck? You're just invincible when you're picking up rocks? Me too. <laughs> Little known fact, I have a I've been cursed by a witch in which I cannot die during the process of picking up a rock. It's a weird curse. I've failed to see where it's been a curse yet. It seemed more like a blessing this whole time. Fuck yeah, doing a little improv thing while fighting Lizalfos like a badass. Um, okay, so over here, if you look down, it's the old Lizalfos arena, which means if you fall off, you have to redo like half the dungeon. <laughs> but it's worth it to get these two sweet, sweet hearts, which I don't need because I have an extra heart container. So yeah, it's kind of cool that there's a lava waterfall here, lava fall if you will. Um, and you can actually be on top of it. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, anyway, with the compass you can also see where you came out of, so it's good to, you know, if you wander around the room and forget which one you came out of and there's two doors, you can just look at the one you're, you know, you came out of and then go to the one you didn't. Yeah, eyes, disable fire. Short period of time, though, I think. Apparently not. Um, and I think we're at... No, we're not. We're at the we're at the other part. Okay. Big chest, and we already got the um, the map of the compass. So this is the dungeon item, and that's our time. Uh, <laughs> uh you found a bomb bag. This bomb holding bag is made of a de uh, made from a Dodongo's stomach. Uh, you found twenty bombs inside. So yeah, now we can just pick up bombs, and that's where that slot's gonna go for now. Uh, because bombs are an important item to use, and I think, yeah, I yeah, we'll just uh, I'll I'll start off the next episode by pressing this button. Okay, good night, everybody.